Hey everybody, Ray here, and welcome to Let's Play Genshin Impact, the Gene Edition. Finally, because, you know, it took like a year and a half for her to drop in the gacha, and then I may have took about two months to make this video. Before we jump on in, if you enjoy these videos and would like to support my channel, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. Let me know in the comments if there's any topics or characters you'd like me to cover, or hop on over to my Discord. You can find the link in the description. So let's start off with the lowdown on Mondstadt's Fair Protector. Jean is a member of the Knights of Favonius and holds two titles within their ranks, the Dandelion Knight and Acting Grandmaster. Jean's family, the Gunhilda clan, not only has a storied history within the Knights, but both her father and younger sister, the Deaconess Barbara, are well known within the Church of Favonius. Jean is incredibly diligent and hardworking, and like her family motto, everything she does is for Mon's dad, as always. A side note, she likes pizza and romance novels. Jean is also the only character so far with three skins available in-game. Her basic skin is called Favonian Devotion, and probably my all-round favourite. Gunhilda's Legacy is a redesign released from her original outfit, which on first glance I loved, and I still kinda do, if we just ignore this. The final skin available in-game for Jean is Sea Breeze Dandelion, cute summer clothes released during the Golden Apple Archipelago patch. Lose the garter, and this would actually be adorable in real life. Now Jean is not a time limited character, so it's always available in the game. If you'd like a video explaining how the gacha works, then please do let me know. But if Jean is on your wish list and you're waiting for her to come home and you want to get your materials ready, you'll need to gather animo crystals and hurricane seeds from the animo hypostasis, collect dandelion seeds in Mondstadt, and pick up some Hillichell masks. For talents, you'll need books of resistance, more Hillichell masks, plumes from Dvalin, and to max any of her talents out, you'll need the limited item Crowns of Insight. If you're lucky to see Jean in your wishes more than once, you'll light up her constellation Leah Minor, or the Little Lion, and you'll also power up her abilities in combat. Okay, so let's dig in and have a closer look at Jean's abilities. Her basic attack for Vonius Blade Work performs up to five consecutive sword strikes. She has a really fun charged attack where she'll use stamina to launch opponents into the air with the power of the wind. Those launched enemies will then fall slowly back to ground. And then standard fair for a plunged attack, striking the ground, dealing AoE damage on impact. Activating Jean's first passive talent, Wind Companion, grants Jean's normal attacks a 50% chance to regenerate HP for the party equal to 15% of her attack. Jean's elemental skill, Gale Blade, focuses the might of the wind around her blade, releasing a mini storm to launch opponents, dealing massive animo damage. Holding the skill button will consume stamina, pulling in surrounding opponents and objects, and allowing her to control their direction. Jean's first constellation, Spiraling Tempest, will increase the pulling speed of Gale Blade after holding for more than a second, and increases the damage dealt by 40%. And the fifth constellation, Outbursting Gust, increases the level of Gale Blade by an additional three talent levels. The Elemental Burst Dandelion Breeze calls upon the wind's protection, creating a swirling dandelion field which launches surrounding opponents and deals animo damage. At the same time, she instantly regenerates a large amount of HP for the party, scaling off of her attack. The Dandelion Field deals damage to opponents entering or exiting the field while healing the party and imbuing them with animo. Unlocking the second passive talent Let the Wind Lead allows Dandelion Breeze to regenerate 20% of its energy when cast. The third constellation, When the West Wind Arises, increases the level of Dandelion Breeze by an additional three talent levels. For the fourth constellation, Lands of Dandelion, all opponents within the field created by Dandelion Breeze will have their animo resistance decreased by 40%. And the final constellation, Lion's Fang, Fair Protector of Mondstadt, decreases incoming damage by 35% while within the Dandelion field. Upon leaving the Dandelion field, the effect will linger for 3 attacks or 10 seconds. But Jean's talents don't stop there. Her second constellation, People's Aegis, boosts the party's movement and attack speed by 15% for 15 seconds whenever Jean picks up an elemental orb or particle. And with her final passive talent, Guiding Breeze, whenever Jean perfectly cooks a healing dish, there's a 12% chance she'll make double the product. And if she's cooking the recovery dish, Mushroom Pizza, there's a chance she'll create her signature dish, Invigorating Pizza, instead. Like all characters, the build can really make or break them, and my Jean build could use some work. Of course, as this is the first time seeing Jean in the gacha, I've not unlocked any constellations for her yet, but I have raised her to level 80 and unlocked all of her ascension levels. I've also unlocked her name card from maxing out her friendship meter. I've been slowly working on getting all of my character's talents up to 6s, but with Jean I have gone a little bit further and taken her burst to 8. 
for weapon, I've currently gone with the Aquila Favonia, which is actually one of the earliest 5 star weapons I got, and I've heard it's her signature weapon. When it comes to artifacts, I've gone for two attack boosted in Zets to try and get the best heals and damage that I can from Jean, and she came on the gacha around the same time as the new domain came out, so I've gone with pieces from the Echoes of an Offering and Vermilion Hereafter sets. So for the fixed pieces, there's a Soul Simp Bloom and a Feather of Nascent Light, and here's where things get interesting, and by interesting I mean a bit naff. For timepiece, I've got an attack percent solar relic, which either needs leveling or switching out for something else. For the cup, I've got an attack percent chalice of the font, which I love this artifact's design, it's really super cute, but again, it either needs leveling or switching out for something else. And finally, for headpiece, I've got a crit rate viridescent venerous diadem, strictly because I didn't have any other good artifacts built at the time, so I'm probably going to switch this out for something healing bonus or attack percent later. So the next question then is where will Jean fit in your team? Jean is a healer, so elemental resonance or team synergy would be a nice bonus, but she can really slot into any team just to fulfill that healer role. When teaming her with another Animo teammate, the resonance Impetuous Winds decreases the party's stamina consumption by 15%, increases movement speed by 10%, and shortens skill cooldown by 5%, and all of these things are pretty helpful for the team. If you are new to the game, Jean will be a great support for or alongside the Traveller. Venti and Sucrose are hailed as great support options, and pairing Jean with either would work. If you have picked up Xiao and one of his banners, well, a battery and a healer are always handy for him. And just based on resonance alone, I do suspect that she'll pair really well with the new Animo user Heizo. For some fun teammates for Jean, you need to look no further than the Knights of Favonius. There's Amber, Kaya and Lisa, or Noel, Sucrose and Albedo, or Ewa, Klee and X knight Diluc. You could also look to the Church of Favonius with Barbara, Rosaria and Venti, other fellow women in charge, Ningguang, Ye Miko, Raiden Shogun, or fellow workaholics, Kaching, Ganyu, and Kagomi. But when it comes to teams based on actual synergy, I found Jean pairs really well with Xiao. Teaming them with Yai Miko and Mona saw them absolutely shred through enemy mobs, but Miko and Mona can easily be switched out for other pairings like Singcho and Lisa, Zhongling and Fischl, Rosaria and Toma, or Ningguang and Diona. I also really like Sucrose as a DPS, so I think she could easily slot into Zhao's space. So, final thoughts on Jean. I feel like the standard banner 5 stars get a bad rap, when generally I don't think they're bad characters and I think Jean could really stand the test of time, especially as an attack based healer, which is what I like the most about her. I like my healers to be able to step up in a crisis, especially in Spiral Abyss where every team slot counts if you really suck at it like I do. And maybe, just maybe, I haven't had Jean on my account long enough, but I often find I get bored pretty quickly of what seems like an exciting new skill on a new character, or I think I'll use it a lot, but I don't. But for now, I really don't think this is going to get old. So that's all we have for today, and I hope you enjoyed the Jean edition. Today's question of the day is, what is your favourite element? I am Team Cryo, let me know your take down in the comments. There are more interesting characters coming soon like Yelan, Goru, and Kuki Shinobu, so if you'd like to see them, please hit that subscribe button. Or if there's someone else you want to see, let me know in the comments. But for now, see you next time. Dandelion, dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land.